Welcome to our farm, a little bit of our everyday in a not so everyday life. I hope there's no snakes here too. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to spring, everybody. Beautiful day. G'day, everyone. Uh, I thought I'd better do some filming. Keep Tony happy. But anyway, we're back out the feedlot and we're just running the boundary of the feedlot. So that's the, that's the dam. Just there. That's where the Sun. But anyway, there's another post right down the bottom there, and there's another post over in that corner. And if you see, might go over there, but anyway, there's a steel post just off to the left there. I'll show you when we get closer. That's the middle of it, and um, I've run the uh, fence up the other side with the wires I've just got to run to run the hinge joint um, and yeah and this is just another part of the boundary so there's going to be seven pens either side so there'll be one either side basically of that post there's a two and a half meter laneway up the middle but this will be the outside and then if you go in six meters There'll be another fence on the inside, and that's where the actual feed lot is. And it will, um, that's, this will be the lane way. It's gonna go right to that, uh, that post over there, over there somewhere. And uh, it, <coughs> um, the sheep yards will be over there. And then there's more posts over there, over that way. <laughs> uh, this, that's where the silos uh, and the mixing plant will go. And then, um, yeah, there's a laneway through the middle, which the um, conveyor or the augers run down into a bin and then the pens go off either side of that. So that's what we're up to with the feedlot. I'm just running this, the barbed wire, you can see there, runs right down to that post down the end, where the sun's stopping you from seeing it. But yeah, so we're well underway. We're off and going. Yeah, so uh, that's back to where we were talking before. And this is the middle of the feedlot, this post here, which runs straight down to, there's another post out there um, so that's the middle and it's two and a half meters um, straight down the middle that's where the conveyor goes yeah. anyway, so I thought I'd just show you instead of the sun glaring in on it and yeah that's the posts getting in I've got a <coughs> driver right in yet that's just then the place spacing me out people do but that's what I do and uh, I run a barb along the bottom and then I run two planes along the top and then the hinge joint and it seems to work for us so anyway I'm sure there's heaps of other different methods of uh, running fence but that's how we do it to the um, sheep yards with our lambs. Um, Phil had an agent out here today just checking them out. 
seeing what we could maybe come up with in the wonderful lamb market that we've got going on at the moment. And no real great solutions, is there? We're just gonna um, aim for a over the hooks price, but probably have to send them into the yards. Uh, well, you could get up. Well, no, because nobody's offering, but um, they, yeah, they'll start cutting their teeth soon. But by the time you got a price and send them in, which could be anywhere up to four or five weeks. Yeah. They're aging out of the lamb market. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move them back to the paddock, but um, there's one that could be fly blown, so Phil's going to just tidy that one up. Do you want me to hold your handpiece, new catcher? I thought we'd come down and have a quick check of our uh, wheat that we've share farmed with the neighbour. So Phil put all this in and it, the neighbour does it so that it cleans up his property and we get the benefits of, benefits of the, the wheat. wheat. How's it looking? Oh, apart from just 
a little bit here, but... Uh, yeah, we've parked in a bad spot. Yeah, but across the paddock, no. Nah, well, you can see how good it's going, like, through there. You can't see any rows, so... Um, it has the potential to yield quite well. Yeah. But... Um, it's at that critical point now where she needs some rain. Because it's it'll start running up and start filling the head out soon and that's when you need basically you need a couple of inches I reckon. Yeah. So we're first of September today. We really need a couple of inches in September, don't we? Because it gets it, here it, gets quite historically warm. September gets hot for us yeah. here. It, and hot windy. and very windy, which we're usually got a bit of a breeze most well, of the time. We've seen uh was it that memories thing on Facebook? This time yeah. last year, we were, it um, was raining and we were flooded. We were underwater, we basically. across the creek down there where yeah. we put that new gate in because the... Um, because of the flood. Yeah, we the, were... the, the creek was up over the washway. Yeah. But anyway, that's the joys of farming. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. It. No. <laughs> it's only the crazy people that are... But you go from that to... Like to the potential's good. Then. Yeah. It's, uh, it, if we got two inches of rain now, we'd be, we'd be right. Yep. If we don't, well, she's not going to be that flush. We'll uh, <laughs> discuss that when, when and if it happens. But no, it's looking good actually. Well, I reckon this is, this is the money season. You is get it? rain now, you make money out of it. You don't get rain now, you do it for the love of it. Do it for the love. You can hear the dogs behind us, around us. Walter, the pup's out. He's a bit like a get. He's like a gangly teenager, aren't you, buddy? You're very faithful, but you're a bit silly. You could be man's best friend. <laughs> you just want to be friends, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Decided to pop down to the other one that we um, have put in for the neighbour. Well, neighbours booked us to put it in. Again, in like a share farm sort of agreement. This looks great. Getting some height about it. Oh, it's coming out of the head. Oh, yeah. So when that says that, that what, what we say that's coming out in head, the head starts <coughs> down there. You see it coming out. They call that the flag leaf. And the head starts coming down, it's pushing up. It'll come out and push out the top like that. And then all it'll that head there will come right up. Stand up more. Yeah, tall. out there. And then it will what they call it will flower. And, he, and he, we'll show that later on. It gets these tiny little flowers. <laughs> they don't look like flowers. <laughs> they don't look like but, flowers. They're uh, like a fluffy thing. Like yeah. Like. And uh, if you get a frost when they're flowering, that's it. That's finished. You, you, it'll won't fill. It'll kill it. But now <clears throat> is when you need moisture, and that will. Um, depend on the yield that you get because the more the plant the drier it gets it'll start see how these ones down the bottom there are starting to die see how yeah, yellow they are yellow leaf on them yeah, yeah that's because it's the plants saying well I can't do any more with that but I'll try and put a head out in that and fill that like a bit of moisture and, stress. And then with that, <laughs> when you don't get enough moisture in there, it'll start spitting them seeds out until it thinks that it's got enough, there's enough moisture there to fill whatever it's got. Yeah. So in a good year, they, they, they can go up to five wide. So seeds on each, every single one of them. They have the, that potential to go for five wide. I think an ant just bit oh, yeah. the leg. Oh, might be standing in some ants, eh? Oh, no, that's super. Um, but I don't, 
Oh, well, if we get two inches, it will. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I don't think this will go five wide. It might go three. That's purely because of big plants. But at oh, this thanks. at this point in time, it is looking really so lovely. You, that, when you go like this, oh, hang on. Okay. There is still that's there's still moisture and the plants getting moisture out of that. But the and trouble you, actually you didn't dig you've only I didn't scratched go the down top. Too far. Yeah. And that's the show again. That's the moisture in it, so Oh yeah, so no buddy. You're gonna have a dig down. Pretty good eating for a dog. <laughs> Come here. Sit. Sit. I'm just scratching down with his pocket knife just to see what the rest of the, like a bit further down's doing. So it's still That's moisture. That's still there. moist, yep. So it might feel what's there. <coughs> But you gotta remember, the hotter it gets and the windier it gets, that starts to all dry that, out. Yeah, yeah. And, and it'll dry out quite quickly. The potential's there, put it that way. It is. Anyway, so hopefully, we'll keep praying for rain. But and the spraying did a good job, because she's all weed free. Yep. And you look down through that. Rows. That's, that's a row. That's because we've double sowed at the top there, but that's a row. There's no weeds in there, which means there's no competition for this stuff. Right. Which is what you want. Which you is want, what we want. You want your crop to that's be That's why you spray weeds. But yeah, no, she's. Uh, the potential's there. Yeah, definitely. It's looking good. Well, <laughs> say that patch point. there. Oh yeah, that's so probably it's a, dipped like down a, a bit. Hard patch. This is why he wants it cropped, is because there's probably been nothing there, and it's like really crusted over, like that gateway sort of thing where you drive in. Really compacted. Yeah. Yep. So that there doesn't. Happen. It won't do much. Yeah. But the rest of it's. Yeah. <clears throat> and she's got some good, good green colour in it, which means it's not. That it's hungry. it's healthy. Ooh, yep. That good. It does. Walter, you coming home? Morning. We're back out Saturday today, and we're just out at the big dam paddock. Feels over doing some more fencing and Charlie wanted to come for a walk to the to the dam to play with the rocks and the water and um, it's really nice because there's heaps of ewes and lambs out here so I'll flip the camera around and see if we can spice them. You can hear them all calling for their babies. There's one. Running off to mum. Stand. Oh wow. And there's your pendulum thing which points to this. That's cool. There's our new, our new measuring wheel which is going to help us measure all of our pens out. Save using a, Save using a um, you want a wheel? tape. Do you want to have a turn? Just push it. Hang on two hands. Two hands. Go for a walk with it. How far are you going to measure? Wow. I'm gonna measure. We've gone back to the dam, aren't we? Hey? It's a bit wobbly. It might meet it up. Okay. Here we go. 
Wow, that's fancy. Oh. Well, hey everybody, thanks for watching this week's video. Um, you'll find us back in the house, it's late at night, and didn't get to actually wrap up that video very well um, this week. Just between, we had, had a few business meetings and um, of course Father's Day and things like that. So we're back out in the paddock tomorrow with Phil and um, got some sheep work and whatnot on. So keep your eye out for the next video. Thanks for watching, see ya.